in regards to vision, one very essential aspect needs to be understood, and that's reflections. In yesterday's message, in the description, I specifically asked if it could be seen. There's another reflection also being pointed out within this short message, and can that reflection be seen? Obviously, that reflection is about quantity over quality in regards to even my own presentations, my own messages. It should be obvious what the reflection was. The quantity has increased greatly in terms of how many messages I've been putting out. The frequency has increased greatly, and thus I am prone to the same paradoxical effect. As the quantity increases, the quality must decrease, it must diminish. I spent a great deal of time on the earlier works to make sure that they were of the highest quality. That's the point. But this reflection and the change that has happened in the last while is all about quantity. That's been the point. That's what this whole reality is about. And yeah, to continue to bring messages every single day, to increase that quantity, the quality cannot keep up. It cannot be the same. It is going to be diminished. And that's been the reflective lesson of just yesterday's message. Of course, there's been other reflections throughout the messages and another one is since the channel went dark the classroom went dark it's another reflection but that reflection is about the time to come see all systems right now in hell's version of heaven are online all the lights are still on everything is trundling along tra la la everything is just fine there's nothing going on. No alarms need to be sounded and so on. So the f reflection, obviously, is about what's to come when everything goes offline, when everything goes dark. And of course, at that point, what happens to the quality of everything? Well, it goes to shit, obviously. That's the point, and that's the other reflection that was quite obvious. In my view, it was quite obvious. And there's been many other reflections that have been shown since the classroom went dark. I'm not going to point them out right now, but I very much wonder if anyone has noticed them. So I'm going to give a little bit of time to see if anyone has noticed them. And then I'll point them out. So I've pointed out two very big ones. And they were, again, in my view, quite obvious. But I really wonder how many have noticed. And there are many, obviously, that have just stopped listening altogether. Because, yeah, the quality has diminished. It, the lights are no longer on in the classroom. So that's just the consequence. But for a little while longer, I'm still able to talk and deliver a message. And in many ways, since the classroom has been dark, these are the most important messages. Especially in regards to what is to come. And the biggest aspect that one can prepare for is when things go dark. Think of how people turned on each other in the last few years during the whole quarantine phase. People turned on each other and be, became just horrendous versions of themselves. That's obvious, so I don't need to keep going into that. But imagine when all systems go offline, not 
this is not just a, about a vaccine having to be taken to go on a flight or sit down in a restaurant. Imagine all systems going offline. Now, how do you think people are going to treat each other? How much change does one conceive that will be witnessed inside of others and including oneself? It's easy, very, very easy to say how one will respond when things are easy. That's the point. Unless one has fundamentally changed their situation or been in a far worse situation than they currently are in their state of comfort, there's no possibility that one can say how they will respond when the systems go offline, when everything goes dark. So that's been another reflection. And reflections are all about vision. If one has been silent and has been listening to the heart, they will know the reflections that the Spirit has been trying to show them. It's obvious if one is listening to their heart and paying attention and taking it serious. That's why I said right at the very beginning, the first golden web, this is not some infotainment. But it's been obvious over the years that many have treated it like that. And especially in the last little while, so many have just fallen away. Actually unsubscribed, finally. Taken the attitude, ah, oh, there's nothing left here. Just spitting on the channel. Yeah, giving my whole heart for years and, ah, oh, there's nothing left here. <laughs> Let's get out of here. This is just a bunch of worthless garbage now. And of course, that's another reflection onto itself too. That you can give your entire heart for your whole life, but as soon as you have nothing left to give to the abusers, to the narcissist, to those who just take, they'll spit on you. They'll kick dirt in your face. They'll even curb stomp you. Yeah, they'll get violent. They'll do the worst to you. You have nothing left to give. And they just bring the worst of their hateful judgment upon you. That's the majority. That's all of these artificials. That's the abusiveness of this system. Cancer is abuse. We are in a cancer hell system. I don't mean that as a metaphor. Not in the slightest. I never have. That's why I said right at the beginning. Right at the beginning. This is not infotainment. This is not something to entertain yourself by. If you're not taking all of this seriously, then woe be on to you. Great distress it shall be in the times to come. And it's not just going to be some trickle effect in terms of what's to come. It's going to be all at once. That's what a fall means. Think of being on a rug, you know, the saying, you have the rug pulled out from under you. It's like that. But a fall is much worse than that saying. And a fall is fast. Think of an actual fall. That's what this system is. It's what's going to happen to it all is what it comes down to. It's all coming down and it all collapses very, very quickly. As quickly as a fall. That's what's coming. That's what one has to prepare for inwardly. And there are immense choices that 
everyone is going to have to make. No one is going to be able to just wish it away. No one's going to be able to just be a keyboard warrior and just type some stupid little comment and think that, there, I did my part, or I had my say, now all of this is going to disappear. That's not how it's going to work. You are in a hell cancer system. We all are. And one can start really, really taking that seriously. Or not. Go ahead. Just treat it all like a joke. I Again, I'm, I'm a nobody. Remember, I just have a microphone and I'm just speaking what I see is to come. It's just about vision and, of course, reflections of that vision. But how many out there, how many truthers, how many in the truth community are talking about vision and the vision of the heart? How many? Really ask that. Or is it just about subscribe to my channel and buy my book and buy my merchandise and buy my vitamins and whatever the hell else? My newsletters and so on and so forth. Just always trying to sell some shit all the time who's really really talking about what matters how many out there how many are talking about the heart it is the big reveal that is the summit of truth so-called truth community how many are talking about it every day? Or is it just, here's my latest thing that I'm going to sell you. And here's what this politician had to say. Oh, what a bad person. Let's focus on that politician. And the three hours of garbage that came out of their mouth, their verbal diarrhea. Let's focus on that. All of that bullshit. All this theater garbage. Just so much damn focus on all of that nonsense. Just dark alleys leading everyone nowhere. And who's focusing on the reflections, on the vision, on the immensities of what's to unfold? Who's focusing on that? Oh, but it's just, it's heavenly right now. And it's springtime. Oh, just hear the birds. Yeah, there's so much beauty still. Of course there is. Absolutely. The earth brings forth immense beauty. And that's also the point because it's being destroyed. It's being destroyed by this whole cancer system. And time is running out. For how much longer the heart is going to allow that destruction to continue? Who's paying attention to the reflections? Who out there is truly paying attention?